person may be going through when they are physically abusing you and enough is enough. So just a background on me, um, my ex was 300 something pounds, he played football, we had a child together. I, he pushed me, I tried to defend myself, and next thing you know, I had a broken neck. So, in saying that. And a lot of times it's not, that's real, you can't fight a 300 pound and men are more physically strong they than us. Like they're they muscular, physically Everything is much more. It doesn't matter. And then what? And you don't know the anger that's going on in her mind. That's why I'm saying that. So, so like, if I could replay that day, and I want y'all to listen. If I could replay that day all over again, I would have gotten out as soon as I saw the little bit of glare in his eye. And thank God that I'm able to physically use my hands still, because I lost feeling in my whole entire body, body from my neck down. And to that point, you're defenseless. So in saying that, if you have an opportunity to get out, and this is why I said earlier, if you have a gut feeling to get out, like, look, this is not right, mm -hmm. your subconscious is telling you, get out. This doesn't feel right. At that point, I didn't know what to do. I literally sat there physically numb to the world, paralyzed, <laughs> praying to God, let me get up, because he's going to kill me. Literally. And this is in front of my three, at the time, my three-year-old son. So in saying that, when people are, when guys or women or whatever, whoever are in that mindset, like we said before, you can't change anybody, they go into this tunnel vision, and you don't know what they can do. And him being 300-some pounds, I was only like 145. Mm -hmm. What could I do? I just knew, like, you know, I had enough. But I ended up with the permanent scar on my neck. I ended up with the fact that I am a surgeon and I almost lost my ability to do surgery. Something I had grown up from her age wanting to do all my life. He almost took that away from me. For what? Because he was mad? Mm -hmm. All that I worked hard for. So what I'm saying is, once again, that gut feeling, well thankfully I got feeling again, and that gut feeling later on in time said, get out this house right now. Mm -hmm. And to this day, the police Doctor, they do not know how I drove myself to the police wow. station. God. That was yeah. God. Yeah. Like, when they went into the surgery, yeah. my neck fell apart. Ooh. Like, oh, but I had something to do. Thank you. I had a purpose. So, in saying that, to answer your question, if somebody hits you, get out. If it's a guy, get out. I don't care if he weighs 190 and, or 140 and you weigh 150, get out. <laughs> You can't beat him. It's not worth it. You got too much to look for. Y'all too young. Not too young, but y'all are a great age. Y'all have a lot in life to expect. Y'all have dreams and goals. It's not worth it. And that's all.